A Thai woman tells the truth about passport bros and why American women are mad. Hi, good morning. So I woke up with all these videos of women attacking the passport bros. Oh wait, let me just take a sip of the coffee that my passport boyfriend made me. As I was saying, when you really don't care why they had to fly abroad to find a wife, a girlfriend, then why are you making all of these hate videos? If you don't care at all, why are you reacting that way? You girls making these content, saying all these nasty words against the women who were brought by the Western guy to their countries, is just an example why they don't want you. Yo, what's up guys? Back again with another video for the Passport Bros. First and foremost, please like, comment, subscribe. It helps the channel a lot and I appreciate it dearly. Now here we have a beautiful Filipina woman, I believe, basically defending the Passport Bros and from, you know, the Western women that are constantly always shaming, blaming, and, and just, just spewing just such disrespect towards the Passport Bros and the foreign women that they're going over there to go to going to these other countries to interact with it's like how can y'all stoop so low to you know it, it's one thing for y'all to you know shame the men but it's like it's another thing for y'all to sh shame and blame your fellow women it's like i thought you guys were all for women empowerment i thought y'all were you know for, for for women's rights and uplifting of women and liberation of women it's like how are you then going to then shame and and blame the women you calling them you know dusty you calling them dirty all oh, they're, they're uneducated they don't speak english they don't know they don't have any rights they don't know no better they're naive you guys just want to just take advantage of them it's like why are you talking down on women just because they're from another country and just because they're taking what you feel you deserve but it's not even that they're taking it it's like the men are willingly voluntarily going and would rather deal with these women in these other countries because they're more traditional they're the women that these men are actually looking for they have what the men are looking for so of course men are going to go where the women are that they're looking for i mean after all these western women are the ones who say i don't need no man i'm strong and independent like so if you don't need a man that's fine but men are going to go find the women that do need a man and they have every right to do so. Same way how you're strong and independent, men have been strong and independent. We are the original strong and independent ones. Have you forgotten? We've been strong and independent. That's why we don't have to go around and scream it on the top of the mountains and, and get the bullhorn and let the whole world know how strong and independent we are. It's just like, we've been strong and independent and we're using our independence to go and find what we want overseas and then these women here are acting as if they don't care it's like one minute they care the next minute they don't care it's like which one is it do you care or you don't or you don't care they want to they want to pretend as if they don't care verbally but physically your actions are saying otherwise actions speak louder than words you could say one thing with your mouth but your actions are saying something completely different we're going to follow what your actions are saying because actions speak louder than words that's the truth behind what you're trying to say whatever your whatever lies you're trying to spew these western women care a lot that these passport bros are leaving because it's not only them that are leaving they're also taking their resources their money their attention their energy their time the security that they feel they deserve and they should get from these men they're taking with them overseas to other women their competition and giving them the life in which they feel they should have had or they should be getting. That's why they're mad. And there's a plethora of other reasons why, but we're not gonna go, you know, and see all these other reasons, but that's a, that's a major predicating factor as to why they continue to shame and blame. But most of what they're saying is all just opinionated. It's not, it's not actually true. It's just people just being bitter and mad that you're not getting what you feel you deserve so now you have to shame and blame not only the men but also the women too even though the women never did anything like these foreign women from these other countries are so innocent they've never spoken bad about western women they've never called them out their name they've never criticized them they've never insulted them they've never 
you know, disrespected them in any way, shape or form. They've been in these other countries, minding their business, living their best life and just doing their own thing, minding their business. Here, these Western women come out the woodworks, calling these foreign women out, out of the blue, calling them every name under the book. Oh, no, no, they're uneducated. They don't know. They don't have any rights. They don't know no better. Oh, you guys want to take control of them because they don't know any better. Oh, they're, they're eating out the garbage. They're poor. It's like, why are you guys so quick to categorize and, and, and put stereotypical beliefs onto people that you have never even met you've never even met these foreign women a lot of them are very educated a lot of them are very smart a lot of them have their own money a lot of them are strong and independent just as you are just as these women love to proclaim they're strong and independent a lot of these foreign women are also strong and independent but they're strong and independent in the good way whereas that meaning they're strong and independent, but they're not saying, oh, I don't need a man. They're strong and independent, but they're also feminine. They're also respectful. They're also caring. They're also genuinely supportive. They're also, you know, looking to have a man that they can be with forever and live a long, you know, loving, have a long loving relationship with and have a provider to take care of them. And they will appreciate a man to do so. Whereas these Western women here, they, they could get that, but they would not appreciate that man. That ev Eventually, that man is going to leave because of the lack of respect, the lack of appreciation, the lack of love that he's not getting. And that's the issue. But they don't want to, they don't want to, you know, entertain that issue. They would rather just cast blame as if everybody else is the problem. Oh, these men are the problem. Oh, these women overseas are the problem. It's like they never take accountability for their own BS. And that's why I continue to keep telling y'all, Passport Bros, stop feeding into the nonsense. It's like you can watch the content. I get it because it's interesting. It's controversial. It makes sense. And I, I, I myself am very entertained by it. The back and forth, the controversy is, is very interesting. interesting. I'm not going to lie. But we have to... Just leave these women alone. Honestly, just leave these Western women alone. The, 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 the ones that like to shame and blame and just take no accountability. Leave them alone. Leave them alone by themselves. Leave them alone. Not just alone. Leave them alone. Alone. Because they're not they're not looking to support us. They're not looking to to be an asset in our kingdom they're not looking to be a, a an actual partner they just want you to do everything and then for them to just get everything they never really are concerned about what they can bring to the table or even that question alone is an insult to them but if you ask one of these foreign women overseas oh what do you bring to the table they will tell you they will tell you and it would not be an insult to them because they understand they have to bring something to the table you can't just come as is and expect to get everything like, no, that's not that's not how that works. That's not how that works. That's a strain on the relationship when somebody's just giving, 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 never receiving. It's give and take. I give some, you give some. We can both eat together. We can both take from each other. We can both help one another. We can both support one another. It's not just give, 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 give or take, 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 take. No, it's give and take. This is a partnership, a relationship. There must be relations from both sides. Passport bros, please continue to get your passports. Continue to book your flights six months out, seven months out, eight months out, nine months out, 10 months out, as, as, as early as you can. Book that flight and get up out of here. Get away from these, these lonely women in the West here as soon as possible, as, as quickly as possible because they will shame, they will blame, but they cannot contain. Why? Because we will let our passports rain. Don't walk, run. Don't run, fly. Don't fly, teleport. Get your passport, get your passport. Passport bros, we up. Please like and subscribe, thank you guys.